subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello friends, welcome to the channel Dev DBQA. Uh, in today's video, we are going to see what is robot framework, what are the uses of robot framework, what are the features that are present in robot framework, and how we can install the robot framework. So if you are new to this channel then please subscribe and press the bell icon to get regular updates. On this channel you can get videos related to automation testing, manual testing and programming languages as well. So let's start with our today's video. Robot framework is an open source test automation framework. So it is used for test automation and it is an open source tool means it is available for free and the source code for this automation framework is also available. We can take that source code and we can do the modifications as per our requirement and then we can use that framework. Robot framework follows different test case development approaches. For example, keyword driven, behavior driven and data driven. So these are different approaches that can be followed for writing the test cases using the robot framework. In robot framework, there are multiple external libraries that are available for use. So since robot framework is an open source framework, there are many external libraries that are available for use. So many people have created their own libraries and contributed to the robot framework so that other people can use that in their project and the libraries are free to use. Next, what are the uses of robot framework? Robot framework can be used for web automation, API automation, RPA that means robotic process automation and database automation. So robot framework can be used for all these type of automations and Let's come to the next part. What is the official website of Robot Framework? So this is the official website of Robot Framework, robotframework.org. So let me show you. This is the official website of Robot Framework. Here you can see the introduction is given about the Robot Framework. It is a generic open source automation tool that can be used for test automation and robotic process automation right so if you scroll down here it is written code is worth a thousand words which means the test case format in which the robot framework wor works is user readable format like this is the test case that we are seeing on the screen a, a non-technical person can also read this test case and can easily understand the test case. So first, the name of the test case is login user with password. So it will first connect to the server, then login user, verify that login is valid and then close server connection. So this, this is the simple test case in the robot framework, which is easily understood to a non-technical person as well. So this is the format in which the test cases are written and when we execute a test case so for example let let me execute the first test case login user with password so this is the console and this is the console output so this is the format in which the robot framework tests are executed and now we can access the report and log of the of the test execution well, so let us click on this log.html first so robot framework provides a clean neat and clean log for each test case execution so when we expand this section test suite and inside the test suite, suite this is the documentation and details of the test suite inside the test suite this is the test login user with password when we expand this one, this is the full name of the test case, the tags that are present and the start and end time of the test case. 
when we expand this section login user with password this is the test so each step is having it, its own detailed logs in the login user this is a keyword these two keywords are called set login name and then set password and at last execute login so these are the complete steps the complete logs that are available in the robot framework and we can also see the report of this execution with this report.html so this is the report when is when we scroll down to the official website we can see that there are different libraries that are present when we click on this built-in so these are the built-in libraries that that comes in a packet with the robot framework whenever we install the robot framework these built-in libraries will be by default available in the robot framework and the tools so these are the tools that are compatible with robot framework so in this video we will install this ride tool which is used for test case development it, it is the most rated among all the tools that are present so now let's move to the features of robot framework as we have seen the format in which the test case were written the test case are in user readable language so a non-technical person can easily understand the test case it supports inbuilt html reports so the robot framework supports an inbuilt HTML reports that we have seen. So each test case execution will be having its own HTML reports. Robot framework provides complete logs of the test case execution. Execution of selected test cases can also be done with the help of tags. So there are different tags that are that can be used for execution of only a selected test cases. Setup and teardown are present at suit level and at test case level. The robot framework supports parallel execution of test cases. With the help of robot framework, we can also execute our test cases parallelly. And at last, robot framework can be integrated with CI CD pipeline. We can also integrate the robot framework with the CI CD pipeline for automatic execution with the Jenkins. For installation of the robot framework, first of all, we will have to download Python on our system. So for installing Python, we have to download it from this site python.org. So it is successfully installed. We will click on close. So to check that Python is installed successfully or not, we have to go to our command prompt. In the command prompt, we have to write Python hyphen hyphen version. So this is the installed Python version, Python 3.6.8. So the pip is, is installed and the Python is installed successfully. Now what we have to do, we have to install this robot framework for that the command is pip install robot framework so for this you have to be connected to the internet because it downloads from the internet and then it installed on our system so now it is successfully installed next we have to install ride so for that the command is pip install robot framework hyphen ride that it is successfully installed all these dependencies and all these versions so let us go to our desktop and check if there is any icon yes this is the shortcut that is created for ride we will double click on it so it means ride is successfully installed on our system we have to allow the access for this 
so ride is now successfully installed on our system this is the home page of the ride whenever we open this ride this will be the home page that will be displayed and this is the run interface from which we will be executing the test cases so let us write our first test case in ride so for that we will go on file new project first we have to name the project as first project we click on ok so inside this project first we will create a new new test case first test so this is the format of test case so this is the test case that is created first test so let us write some log test log this is our first test case so this is the tabular format in which we have to write our robot framework test cases so for executing it we have to select the test case go on run and click on start So this is the output of that so first project is the project name the first test is the test case name and the output log and report are present at this location and we can also access these reports and log from these buttons for report we can click on this report and for log we can click on this log button so let us click on this log button so this is the log for that project so these are the two steps that we have written log test and log this is our first test case so this is the output of that command so this is just a sample test case that we have just written in the next videos we will write test cases that are related to selenium so for that we have to install the selenium library for writing the test cases related to selenium that we will see in our next video so that's all for today's video if you have any suggestions then please comment in the comment section if you like this video then please hit the like button and please subscribe to get regular updates thank you